ABC 15 Sports, sponsored by Sanderson Ford. Well, the first three weeks of training camp are now in the rearview mirror for the Arizona Cardinals as they held the annual red white practice today out here at State Farm Stadium. The ticket allotment sold out yesterday, so the Red Sea is ready for some football. The question is, will the Cardinals be better at protecting home field this season? We want to get better um, on that field, there's no doubt. You know, we start off week one against a really good team here that'll be uh, packed stadium and lots of energy, so we better figure it out quick. There was a big applause when Kyler Murray ran out on the field, ending his five-day quarantine window with COVID, but unfortunately for the fans, Kyler was a bystander during the football portion, though he did sign autographs for an hour after practice ended. We didn't want to rush him back out there after five days of not doing anything, so once we knew he had COVID, we set the schedule and uh, just wanted to ease him back in and get him around the guys, and then Monday I expect him to at least do something. Cardinals hoping to get Hollywood Brown, Rodney Hudson, and others back next week as they continue to be ravaged by camp injuries. The most serious and what could be a much bigger deal considering DeAndre Hopkins' six-game absence is Antoine Wesley, who is walking around with a noticeable limp. The Cardinals will know this week whether Wesley will need surgery or if rehab will be enough for his groin. Needless to say, though, Rondell Moore is going to have a big say in the Cards offense in year two. Whatever they have in store, whatever's planned, I'm ready for. So for me, my approach stays the same, just going out there, working hard, and continuing to stay in my playbook and whatnot. A lot of good receivers, only one football. Wide receivers coach Sean Jefferson was asked who the biggest whiner is when it comes to getting the ball, and he said Rondell Moore. Even Kingsbury felt Moore's frustration from a year ago. I mean, I know what he can be, and I know how talented he is. I know what he's been his entire career to every team he's ever played on. And then all of a sudden his roles minimized more than he anticipated. Yeah, I felt the frustration, and, and, and rightfully so. He's a tremendous player. That's what you want. You'd rather have those guys that want the ball. They want to be in. They know they can do it. They believe they can do it. I just try to come to work every day and show that I'm um, – Oh, I want to be a player in this league. Third round pick Cameron Thomas also trying to put his stamp on this team in his rookie season. He's a raw talent out of San Diego State. Cardinals defensive coordinator Vance Joseph said Thomas is still learning how to play with his power. There was a little bit of adjustment period, um, but you know, I think every day uh, I feel faster and everything around me starts feeling like it's slowing down. So I'm um, definitely getting more comfortable with things. A new member of the Cardinals this year, but one that might be very important to the defense's success is Nick Vigil, the inside linebacker who was with the Vikings last season. Kingsbury described him as very cerebral. He's a veteran that can help ease the burden of the Cards' young linebackers. And once upon a time, Vontez Perfect helped bring Vigil along. I mean, he was one of the best football players I've ever been around. Uh, yeah, very intelligent, uh, very smart guy, and he, you know, he taught me a lot about how to play football. Now, camp brings about some scuffles, and Isaiah Simmons has been in the center of a few of them this camp. Him and Kyler were chirping at each other today, while Will Hernandez is no stranger to those. He's been tabbed the new enforcer on the offensive line by Justin Pugh. So uh, you know what? We just get bored out there, and sometimes we gotta like you know have a little fun with it. But now we're all at the end of the day, we're all brothers here. We all love each other and we're all uh, we all have the same goal in, in mind. With the red white practice now in the books, the Cardinals will enter game week on Monday. Three practices before their preseason opener on Friday against the AFC champion Cincinnati Bengals in Glendale. Colin Harmon, ABC 15 Sports.